Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating what the frequency equation 1 over t actually means. Well, firstly, the frequency of a wave measured in hertz is 1 over t, whereby t is the period measured in seconds. So if half a second passes by during a period, let's say, for instance, this t over here is a half, the frequency of that wave is going to be 2 hertz. Now this frequency equation over here is useful because with it we can come up with the wave equation which is c equals f times lambda, whereby lambda is the wavelength of the wave measured in meters, and where c is the speed of the wave, which is measured in meters per second. Now to get this c equals f times lambda equation, we first need to know the speed equation, and that is distance over time. What we do with this equation, speed equals distance over time, is replace s with c, which is the wave speed, measured in meters per second, and we keep distance as meters and time as seconds, okay? So with this over here, we get c equals d over t, which is very similar to the speed equation. Now what we should do next is manipulate the frequency equation. At the moment, we have 1 over t. If we multiply both sides of this equation by t, we get t times f equals 1. And then from here, if we divide both sides of this equation by f, we get t equals 1 over f. With this equation up here, and also this t equation over here, we can now get c equals frequency times lambda. Now let's say that the wave speed measured in meters per second is equal to distance moved represented by lambda which is the wavelength in meters over time taken which is measured in seconds what this gives us is c equals lambda over t but because t is 1 over f what we get is lambda over 1 divided by 1 over f, and this is the same as lambda over 1 times f over 1, which is c equals f times lambda. Now remember, c is measured as meters per second, the f is measured in hertz, and lambda is the wavelength measured in meters. So that is f equals 1 over t explained, and with this equation and the speed equation, we were able to derive c equals f times lambda. For this photograph over here, I would like to thank Kimono from Pixabay, as it was provided free of charge. The sources I used to provide you with this information are just over here. If you want more mathematics proofs or help with algebra, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.